Alright, welcome back everybody, this is the Benjinator. And this is Mike. We're watching Let's Play Act Razor. So, we've cleared three of the lands, and now we're about to remove Stonehenge from the volcanic land of Atos. So, let's take a look at what this, uh, Aetos? Aetos, yeah. I'm gonna go with Aetos, that sounds pretty Greek. Yeah, Aetos, yeah, sounds pretty... It, so it definitely sounds like a rocky Greek island. <laughs> kind of like Delos. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so do do do. It's where things get crazy. We got uh, we got bamboo here. It's cra That's also crazy. <laughs> like really scary bamboo too. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where you get near it and it drops. It's fun. Look at the, look at those looming clouds too. Jesus, this is ominous. This is a nice high. Uh, and look at that, Jesus! This is freaking awesome. See again, <laughs> oh, that's sloppy on my part. But, um, <laughs> getting back to my point, this is really good level design. Yeah, this is this is cool. Like that's um, just a lot of things you don't expect from the very beginning. It's good yeah. stuff. <laughs> I mean, the clouds are very intense. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a it's a very the... <laughs> simplistic effect, but it's there. Oh Jesus! I like that. I got Evil the good. Yeah, I, 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 I like the nice birds and the and the black birds. It's like only vaguely racist. <laughs> you say it like that. Uh, but we have the um. Yes, yeah, so we got the gnomes and really. Oh that yeah that the, the black one throws the uh the really heavy rocks at you. It's one of those things you're better off avoiding. Oh, what the geez. fuck is that thing? That's a tengu. It's a tengu. Yes. What is a tengu exactly? They are Japanese. Um, they're a, they are Japanese bird people who, from a mythological place, exist as kind of crazy mountain shamans. Okay. They're not in. Inherently evil, but they are inherently unpredict. Oh, that's unfortunate. And we got we got th hands throwing rocks at us. <laughs> See, now you wish you were Mario. Did it, did it, did it. Yeah, exactly. Because my I, I can't jump that high. <laughs> so, yes, Tengu's. Um, I, I believe that they are an enemy in one of the SquareSoft games. Um, that's pretty likely, actually. I'm not sure. Which um, one. Because their overall outfit and design is based on the Yamabushi. Which is a type of mountain priest that actually exists. Oh, okay. And are kind of. Well, I'm not an expert on Yamabushi, so I'm gonna shut up before I say something I don't know. Um. <laughs> As a uh, Shinto shamans, or I don't know if they're Shinto or Taoist. To be okay. completely honest with you, uh, the thing about having a region with so many syncretic religions is that certain things blend together. Oh they're yeah. Kind of naturalist. I see. Um, Kind of, they're kind of like Eastern Druids or something? That's not a terrible comparison. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's... Obviously, it's <laughs> never going to be... Oh, sword power! We have... We're Link! Congratulations, everybody! We got the Master Sword! <laughs> That's actually pretty damn handy. Yep. Alright, so now we're going to fight the, the boss, which, uh... Thankfully, now that we... Yeah, we have this thing. Only temporarily, unfortunately. But that will make us be able to take this, the, the, the evil, like, Chinese dragon out at... Uh, long range. So, this guy's actually pretty easy, thankfully. <laughs> He's a lung dragon. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's not quite a Chinese dragon, but it's, it's a very... There's a lung dragon and a bunch of Tengu on a volcano. That's yeah. That's a really specific aesthetic for a Western game to throw in. Right, but we also, we also have, like, you know, friggin' sparrows carrying platforms, too. There's a <laughs> lot of just interesting design decisions in this game. Oh, yeah, it's... They kind of, I feel like with this particular level, they got like a bunch of guys in a room and they took every single one of their ideas and just put it in this level. <laughs> like one guy was like, gnomes throwing heavy rocks. What about hands throwing heavy rocks? Yeah, that works too. What about birds carrying a platform? Okay, we can do all the things. Okay. Yay, so now we're in we the land now of now created two people. Mm-hmm. Once they again, both look like guys. The that might not be the best plan. <laughs> the patriarchs of Atos. Yay. All right, so. And now they're gonna bitch about the rocks and mm -hmm. explain to me how I break them. Yep, lightning destroy the rocks. So that's 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 nice and easy because we got we got lots of SP now, so we can just we can just like send you know divine bolts of of wisdom. <laughs> if you want to call them that, destroy the uh, shrubs. We're also going to kill these shrubs. Yep. 
Got light lightning solves all of your problems in this level, thankfully. Good, then I'm just gonna keep doing it until I run out of SP. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you can also, you know, earth earthquakes solve people problems too, but... <laughs> I don't have people problems. Yeah, we don't, we don't have people problems right now. We got blue dragon problems, we got some shrub problems, we got... Possibly some other problems later on, but... At least right now... Just a matter of clearing out the land. Oh yeah. Oh, and we got we got the we got the evil skulls too, that cause oh, earthquakes, and those that's... things are freaking. Okay, skulls. no, we're doing that shit first. Yeah, you want to get rid of Skull Man first. Um, I would suggest actually using the the the, su the super bow, because those things take a lot of hits. I mean, right now the skulls can't do anything, but but look at that, <laughs> it's a lot of armor. So yeah, the skulls the skulls are are. Uh, then we are immediately no queuing to build yeah. right here. The skulls are no joke, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and you'll see. Yeah, so just build in that direction. In this level, they're not that big of a deal. Because you have the monster layer that's right there. Oh, damn it. Yeah, just try it again. Keep going. Um, the skulls are not a big deal here just because there's one monster layer and it's pretty close by. But in if you go to no when we go to North Wall, you're going to see that the skulls are going to be just be absolutely fucking crazy. Like, there's three of them and they're hard to get to and they just... Not only do they cause earthquakes to destroy the, uh, the, the villages, but they also, they just kind of headbutt you sometimes. Like, right now, they're being kind of passive, but if you let them stay on the screen, they'll move around, they'll start just trying to charge you, and it's, 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 it's not fun. <laughs> it's all kinds of not fun. Whee! Alright, so we're, we built a stable, so at least, uh, you know, they know some animal husbandry, I think. Perhaps. Impressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the the A the Asians uh, do have some knowledge that the other other groups do not have quite yet. Athos Athos is pretty small though, like in terms of just land area compared to especially something like Cassandora, not nearly as big. So this feels kind of like Athens more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Yay! So what do we find? Hey, strange statues. So we have the we have the smart bomb. That's 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 happy. Okay. So, uh, oh, I guess, uh, her partner got injured, is what, what, what it said, so. That's unfortunate. Yeah. So, let's, let's keep using that lightning, destroying those rocks. Yeah, I just wanted to prioritize that skull thing. That's a good idea, because the skull <laughs> thing can be kind of annoying. <laughs> Woo! So, uh, you probably want to start building, yeah, I think down there, because there's another monster layer beneath the rocks. Yeah. We're yep. just gonna nuke all of this right now. Ooh, nuke, nuke, nuke. Yeah, and the, uh... We u I used the wind off-screen viewers, but we are gonna be getting to use that in Atos. Is, uh... The lightning! Good lightning him! Yeah! Oh, man, didn't hit him. That's too bad. Unfortunate. Um... Yay, we get to move in that direction! So, uh, we will get to use the, the wind this round, but if you ever feel like using the wind, the wind is basically a smart bomb that blows every every monster away. I, I think except for the skulls, actually. It does not put the skulls away. The skulls just kind of stand there and laugh at you when the, when the wind's blowing, but all the other ones will get blown away. So, skulls are, skulls are dicks. Yay, we got another one! Ah, we're getting molested by the blue demon. Ah, no, no. Yeah, but at least that's the last one that's coming from that area. Yep. Okay, so oh, we got something special. Oh no! Damn it. Okay, so. Oh yes, yes. He's he's begging for rain. He's doing a rain dance, and he's about to die. And his last request is that you send rain on him. It's a fairly uncreative uh, last request, but I guess we want to show him his pr show that we exist. <laughs> that is our. I'm sorry you're gonna die, dude. I'm gonna look after you after you're dead. Rain. Yep. Okay. Cool. He's happy with us. Yay! All right. Cool. Good time for a break now. Yep. Um. All right. So we are in Atos, and we're getting rid of some monsters, and we're gonna hopefully be able to build another glorious civilization in this rocky land. How will we succeed? Find out in the next episode of Let's Play Act Razor. This is the Benjaminator. This is Mike. See you guys next time.